Hello guys, welcome back to TechDose and in this video we will see the prime palindrome problem which is from lead code number 866. Let's look at the problem statement. In this problem, given an integer and return the smallest prime palindrome greater than or equals to n. So the number should be a prime number, it should be greater than or equals to n and it has to be a palindrome. Let's look at an example for better understanding. Let's say that our given n value is 12. Okay. Now we need to find the smallest prime number which is greater than or equals to 12 in this case and it should also be a palindrome. So the solution is to start checking incrementally in steps of size 1 from n that is we will first check for 12 if this is a prime number or not a prime number. If it happens to be a prime number then we have to check if it is a palindrome number or, or a non-palindromic number right. So first thing is the number should be a prime number and then it has to be a palindrome as well so in this case if we start checking from 12 13 13 is a prime but it is not a palindrome again 14 and so on if you keep on going uh, then we will find that 101 is the first number we encounter which uh, i mean when we started checking from 12 this is the first number which was prime as well as a palindrome okay so the answer in this case is 101 now in order to solve this problem the first thing we should know is how to check if a given number is a prime number so if you want to check uh, primality for a number x then we have to just run from 2 uh, to square root of x right and you can write it as i equals 2 to uh, i into i less than equals to x which is basically going till square root of x in steps of size 1 and if any number can divide uh, the given number x uh, then it is a non prime number otherwise it will be a prime number fine so this can be done in order of root n time so once you are done with the primality test the next thing to know is how to check for a palindrome and this is also very easy given an integer number we can simply convert it to a string and once we know the string then we can use the two pointers left and right and we can start checking from both the ends so your left should be equals to right if it is equal then move your left to the right and move your right to the left and again keep on checking Keep on checking unless uh, this L becomes equals to R or L exceeds R. Okay. And this is a simple code to check if a given string is a palindrome or a non-palindrome using two pointers. And here is a diagram for the given example like this last character on the left side should be matched with the last character on the right side. Second last on the left side should be matched with second last on the right side. Fine. So this can be done in order of log n. Why log n? Because n was actually the integer okay so here uh, this is an integer number 14 22 41 so this is equals to n but when you convert to the string the length of the string is equals to the number of digits in this integer right so the number of digits will be log n base 10 because this is a base 10 number system and therefore the length of the string is log n now once we know about uh, the primality test and how to find a palindrome you know uh, that we have to repeat it for a lot of numbers so I'm just taking an n factor here. Obviously it, it can be less or greater than n but let's take it n. That is the number of times we will be running the checks. So there is no bound to it because we are checking from n and going beyond that point. Uh, but it will not be a very uh, large gap. So the primality test takes uh, root n time and uh, the palindrome test will actually take log of n time therefore we can come to a conclusion of n root n because uh, root n is much larger as compared to log n now before we actually move on to the solution code there is a very important point to consider like we will never have any even size prime palindrome even size means even number of digits except for 11 uh, because every even length palindrome uh, is divisible by 11 let's suppose that we are taking six digits which is even number of digits and if i can represent the six digits in this way is such that we want to make a palindrome a b c taken on the left side c b a taken on the right side this constitutes and makes sure that this given integer is a palindrome now this is of size six and we are free to choose any of the values for any of these three digits a b c let's pick a equals to three b equals to two and c equals to four and this is how the number is formed once you form this number uh, we should know the rule for checking the divisibility of 11 so the sum of even index digits minus the sum of the odd index digit if it is divisible by 11 then the number will be divisible by 11 otherwise it will not be divisible by 11 in this case if you form an even length uh, number which is a palindrome the difference will always be zero 
okay in this case the sum of even index digits like 3 plus 4 plus uh, 2 will be equals to 9 and the sum of odd index digit that is 2 uh, plus 4 plus 3 which is again equals to 9 so if you take the difference it will be equals to 0 right and this is true for any even length digit you can also think for the 8 digit number which is a b c d separated again d c b a just in the opposite order and we can pick any of the values in general case uh, you can just add the even uh, index digits and you can add the odd index digit and if you take the difference it will always be zero because each of the pair will get cancelled out you see all the pairs are present here so they will get cancelled out and the answer will be zero so zero is divisible by 11 therefore we can say that any even length number which is a palindrome will always be divisible by 11 and since prime palindrome of even length are all the subsets of even length palindrome therefore uh, the prime palindromes will always be divisible by 11 i would like to announce about our live training programs data structures and algorithms which is interview dose and system design which is design dose if you are looking for making a switch from service to product based or even make a product based to product based top tier switch and aiming for your dream company this is the best curriculum you can ever join i'll be your mentor throughout the cohort and i will help you clear all your doubts in the one-on-one -on -one sessions you can know more about this by querying us on the whatsapp number or you can also visit our website techdose.co.in let us now look at the code this is the main function for our code which is the prime palindrome in this case we are given the number n if n is 1 then our answer will be 2 otherwise we will start processing the number so this is the process and this is the infinite loop i will be skipping all the even length number of digits how do we do that let's say the number is equals to 1001 so i want to skip all the four digit numbers now so i will directly jump to the five digit number and the five digit number the nearest one will be 10 to the power of 4 how do we do that we find the log base 10 of this given number and this will uh, give you three point something so apply a seal on this and this will give you 4 okay now we will take power of uh, this 10 comma 4 and this will give me 10 to the power of 4 right so this is the nearest uh, next digit number and this is how we can calculate so you can do that and then we will continue the processing now if it is an odd number of digits then we will first be checking for the prime number if the given number is prime if it turns out to be prime then we will be checking if it is a palindrome as well and if it is a prime as well as a palindrome then this is the first number we have encountered since n and so this is our answer we just have to return it and we will keep on checking incrementally in steps of size 1 if we cannot find anything we will return minus 1 but in this case we will definitely find an answer okay so other codes you must be knowing like this is the palindrome code and this is the find prime code i hope you were able to understand this if you have any doubt please share in the comment section like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you